Hi, Casio Nation. I'm Engineer JD, a structural engineer and a college and review center instructor. Today, we will talk about derivatives. For this video, we will calculate first and second derivatives using Casio FX 570ES Plus Second Edition. For the first derivatives, we will illustrate how to calculate it in two modes of input in the calculator: the Math I/O mode and the Line I/O mode. Next, for the second derivatives, we will present it in two ways. And finally, we will show and solve an example from the field of engineering dynamics to illustrate the capabilities of this calculator in calculating the first and second derivatives. Calculating derivatives in this calculator is very simple. All you need to do is to press shift and the integral key to be able to display this derivative symbol right here. Now, this derivative requires two inputs. First is the function, usually expressed in terms of x, and the input value, which is x equals x0. Then, for the line I/O mode, which is to display the input in a single line of input, you can access it by pressing Shift, Mode, and 2, and then pressing again Shift and the integral key to display the derivative in the line I/O mode. Now, the line I/O mode here has three parameters. First is the function in terms of x. Second is the input value, which is x equals x naught. And third is the accuracy of the derivative. The smaller the accuracy or the, the nearer it is to zero, the more accurate the answer for the derivative will be. Now, for the second derivatives of the function at x equals x naught, there are two ways to solve it. First is to manually get the first derivative to get the first derivative. And then, input that first derivative into the calculator in order to get the second derivative. Now, many users will find this very time-consuming, especially since you have to calculate manually the first derivative. As a solution, an alternative for that is use numerical approximations. Specifically, we have this central difference approximation to the second derivative given by this formula. Express as a limit. Limit as h approaches 0 of f of x naught plus h minus 2f of x naught plus f of x math minus h all over h squared. And to input that in the calculator, we can approximate it by removing the limit and calculating the fraction inside. Now, let's go to the example. We have here a particle that moves along the x-axis according to the equation x of t is equal to sine of cosine of tangent of t, where x is in meters and t is in seconds. We have to determine the following. The velocity of the particle at t equals 2 seconds and the acceleration of the particle at t equals 2 seconds. First, let's calculate the velocity using the Casio FX 570ES Plus second edition. To do that in the calculator, let's press shift and then the integral key to access the derivative function. And then inside the pair of parentheses, let's input the expression. So we have sine, cosine, tangent of the variable t, but in the calculator, we will use the variable x since it's the default. So let's input alpha and then x. As a word of warning, first warning here, please make sure that the number of parentheses open is equal to the number of parentheses closed. So here, we have three open parentheses, so please make sure to close it with three closed parentheses. So let's input one, two, three closed parentheses. And as a second word of warning, we have to use radians as the angle of measurement because these are trigonometric functions. To access that, let's press shift mode and then number four to change the angle units to radians. Four. And then... For the input of x, since we have to calculate at t equals 2 seconds, let's press 2. And then, let's press equals. So now, we have 3.9566 as the correct answer for number 1. And the units, based on the given units, is meters per second. Now, for the second problem, for the acceleration, let's illustrate it in two ways. But first, let's present the numerical approach. So to do that, let's store an accuracy value indicated by h in the previous slide here. So let's say 0 0.000001. Any value of the accuracy will work as long as it is very close to zero. So the smaller, the closer it is to zero, it is more accurate. The less nearer it is to zero, it's less accurate. 
So I'm here, I'm using 0.000001 and then I'll store it into the variable D here. Shift, store, and then D. So it's now stored in the variable D. Next, let us input this function, sine, cosine, tangent, and then the variable t. Now first, let's calculate the function of x plus h, meaning the input for t is t equals to the given value, the given input, and then the accuracy, which is already saved in the variable d. d. For this expression, no need to close parentheses. It's automatically recognized by the calculator, so that's fine. They can now press equals. Now, we have this value for f of x plus h. Let's store it into variable a, shift, rcl, and then this minus sign here with variable a at top. Let's press that. Now, it is stored in the variable a. Next, calculate f of x. Instead of inputting again the expression, you can press the up and down keys to access your previous results. So let's press upward. And then here's our previous result. Now let's press left or right in order to edit this expression. Okay, as you can see, we can now edit the previous expression. And then let's delete this D, variable D. I delete. Now this is what we want now. And then let's press equals. Now we have this value now. And then let's store in the variable B. Shift. RCL and then this angle minute second key with variable B at top. Let's press B. Finally, press up and down keys again. Let's edit by left or right. And then let's now input minus D for this one. Minus and then alpha and then the sign with D at top. We can now access D. And then press equals. We have now this value. And then let's store to the variable C. Shift, store, okay, or RCL. And C. Finally, we have now the variables A, B, and C, and D. We can now calculate the expression A minus 2B plus C all over D squared. So we have alpha A minus 2 alpha B plus alpha C over alpha and then D and then squared and then equals. Now this is in fractions. You can press the S ROD key to be able to convert it to decimals. You will have the final answer for number 2 which is 10.96 meters per square seconds. Now let's compare it with method 1 which is manually calculating the first derivative and then inputting it into the calculator to calculate the second derivative. So here let's press shift and then the integral key to access the derivative. Inside the parentheses we input now the first derivative of the expression. Now, to calculate that, let's go to the expression, which is sine cosine of tangent of t. First, let's go from the outside, derivative of sine, which is cosine, and then copy the inside, which is cosine tangent of t, so alpha x, and then close parenthesis. Then times, going inside by the chain rule, let's calculate the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine and then copy the inside, which is tangent t, or alpha x, and then close parenthesis. Then, let's calculate the derivative of tangent of t. Again, by the chain rule, tangent of t, the derivative is secant squared of t, but we cannot input secant squared directly in the calculator, so we will use cosine via the ratio identity. If you recall it, it's secant is equal to 1 over cosine so instead we will input it as cosine so we will now input times 1 over cosine the variable t alpha x and then squared now this is now our whole expression the first derivative of x now for the input x we will input t equals 2 and then that we can now press the equal sign and as you can see this is actually the exact value of the second derivative, which is 10.9574 meters per second squared. Compare it with our approximate solution, which is 10.96. We got a good solution, of course. We can make that 10.96 more closer to this exact value by choosing a smaller accuracy value. And that's it for our today's video. 
I hope you learned about calculating first and second derivatives using this calculator. See you on the next video. Thank you very much.